Okay, so I'm recording, guys. We are in week eight. Yeah, week eight of the semester, so we're halfway through now, right? Yeah, finals is on week 17. So the agenda for today is going to be um, any questions regarding last week, first off? If anyone wants to put in the chat or unmute yourself. Okay, and you guys can ask me at the end of class as well if you have questions. So we're going to be talking about delivering good and neutral news messages. Last week we did delivering bad messages. This week it's good and neutral messages, which is way easier, so it's not as difficult. Um, and then I'm going to have a Google Docs class activity for you guys. We're going to be in small groups. And then we'll go over check-ins, discussions, and assignments. So delivering good and neutral messages. Learning outcomes for this lecture is to describe the deductive outline for good and neutral news and its adaptations for specific situations and for international audiences. Understand the format for routine claims and request messages. So that would be for like customer service type emails. So a deductive sequence, which we also call a direct sequence, there is no reader assistance to good news and neutral messages, so we can be direct and start with the main idea. A message begins with the main idea, followed by supporting details. So first, you have the best news or main idea, and then in the middle of the conversation, you have the explanation with one or more of the following, either all the necessary details, educational information, resale, sales promotion. And then at the very end, you have positive friendly ending with a clear statement of action desired, motivation to action, willingness to help further appreciation. Because you always want to close keeping that relationship solid. Which is not that difficult when you're giving good news, right? So routine requests that you might see. Assumption that a request will be granted quickly and willingly without persuasion because you're giving good news. You're following the direct sequence. Receiver's reaction will be favorable or neutral. Examples could be conducting a vendor to request information about their products because they want to send you something and they want to sell it to you. Contacting a consultant for information as consideration for hiring their services. So to them, that's like a sales lead. Uh, tasking your employees to complete a routine job task, such as filling out your timesheet. Hey, you're an employee, you know that if you fill out your timesheet, you're going to get paid, so of course that's good news for them. Other types of good news messages could be thank you messages, appreciation messages, positive news such as you're getting a year-end bonus, like who wouldn't like that news, right? Um, congratulations and goodwill. Types of neutral messages. Acknowledging customer orders, procedural messages to employees, so you know on procedures, responding favorably to a customer request, you're getting a refund, your credit limit has been increased, um, so that would be for, you know, like credit cards, financial, inquiries, and recommendations. So an example of a, a right or a wrong here, to, to show you the difference here on a congratulations, um, message. So congratulations, Tori, due to your excellent sales record, perfect attendance, and high evaluations from customers and coworkers. You have been selected as employee of the month. You will receive a plaque ha um, and a $100 American Express gift card when you are officially recognized at Monday's staff meeting. We look forward to acknowledging your achievements at Monday's meeting and appreciate the great example you set for other employees. Keep up the great work. So this is the correct way of sending the message. And if you notice, it follows the steps in the previous slide, first, middle, last, right? It's still short and sweet, but it still has a first, a middle, and a last. The wrong way of sending this message would be, congratulations, Tori, you have been selected as employee of the month and you will re revive a $100 American gift card. So it's like typos all over the place. It's not even good sentence structure and it's just one sentence. You're not, you don't have a, a beginning, a middle and an ending. So that's the wrong way of doing it and this is the right way of doing it. Uh, things to consider when you write your good news messages is your audience, the age, the education, the profession. Modes of writing is to be sincere, be brief, even though this you know, the difference between these two, it's still brief. It's still one little paragraph. 
Um, avoid exaggeration, back up compliments with specific points, and don't promote more than what you can deliver. Be timely. Um, oh, here, I, ha I guess I can delete this slide. Sorry about that. Here's a little cleaner slide of that. Audience, age, education, profession, mode of writing, be sincere, be brief, avoid exaggeration, backup compliments with specific points, don't promise more than what you can deliver, and be timely five days. Different spins between good and bad news messages. So remember last week we did bad news, this week it's good news. So the difference is on the good news here, you receive favorable responses, uses the direct approach, good occasions, less stress on emotions, and the bad news is you're receiving negative responses, mostly indirect approach, bad occasions, and must take care of readers' responses. So that's really what good messages is. It's pretty simple and basic. Um, we're gonna do a good news class activity here so that you guys can get a little practice in. Not too difficult. Uh, let's see here. I'm gonna share this other Google Doc with you guys. So if you guys can all open this Google Doc, and I'll be setting you up in teams and breakouts for this. All right, so again, we haven't done this in a while, so when you get in your group, introduce each other. I'll give you a few minutes to kind of network. Um, you know, get, a, get to know each other a little bit, maybe exchange information on LinkedIn. Um, why are you taking this class? What are your career goals, if you have any yet? Uh, what are your education goals? And then decide who's gonna be the leader and the presenter and the note taker in your group. I'll give you a couple minutes to decide on that. And then we actually have the assignment here. Okay, so for this assignment, you guys are gonna be forming a company which has a certain service or good to sell. So be creative, make it up. Um, as with all companies, you will have to correspond with other companies and individuals about a variety of issues to keep your businesses afloat. As part of the business or company, you will be in touch with four other businesses about one of many topics. Your group will have to write four different emails. And I'm choosing emails because that's really what you're gonna use in the business world. You really don't write too many letters to send out. It's really emails. Um, so after you form your company and your service or product, whatever it is, be creative. The four messages that you're gonna create is an appreciation message, a goodwill message, a procedural message to employees, and a thank you message. So I'm gonna be putting you guys in a groups of four. Uh, you guys can either all work on them together, which I suggest, or you can have the task of having each person do one and then reading them to the group so that you guys all agree on it. So you'll have to convey the proper information in the proper tone and the proper format for each email. Be creative with your role for the company and the audience you're sending the message to. So in your discussion notes here, I want you to put your company name and what your product or service is, just you know, a couple sentence, along with everyone's first and last names. And then if you guys can, uh, you'll, you'll take a bunch of space here. You'll need to have a, some sort of note taker um, put in all four messages. And remember these messages are short, right? They're just about a paragraph each. Does anyone have any questions on that? Kind of self-explanatory there? It's a lot easier than the um, bad messages, right? Okay, so I'm gonna put you guys into groups here. And I wanted to let you guys know on slide 13, um, I added an additional link. If you guys want a little bit more clarification on 
uh, examples of different types of good messages here is a great link here uh, I know one group had a question on goodwill messages so that would be a link for you guys to check out uh, professor I have a quick question yeah. um, when you said email us your or email you our, our Google Doc um, did you can you put your email in the chat yeah thank you There you go. And I wanted to hear some of these here. So first group, um, Tyler, Tyler's group. Can you read, tell us your company name, what you do and read us your appreciation message, please. Tyler, are you there? So I think, or anyone else I, in the group, Zoe, yeah, or I just, Janice. Yeah, I'll go. I don't know if our presenter's still connected. Okay. No um, I just logged back in. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I accidentally logged out. Now I'm lo logged back in. All right, ready when you are. So it's my group. Yes, and if you can read your, tell me your company name, what you do, and your appreciation message, please. Um, I don't have the link in front of me. Let me get that. Um. I, I don't know how to get the link. Uh, have... Does someone else in your group have it? Anyone can speak. Zoe yep. or Boris? I got it. Okay, cool. Okay. So, uh... Hello, John. On behalf of NetSquare, I would like to express appreciation for the opportunity to work with you and the Insight Designs team. We are looking forward to developing your website. Oh, sorry. We are NetSquare and we're a web development company. <laughs> Speech is <laughs> a little bit slower. Yeah. So NetSquare, web development company. Hello, John. On behalf of NetSquare, I would like to express appreciation for the opportunity to work with you and the Insight Designs team. We are looking forward to developing your website and value the hard work that has been put in so far. The feedback from your team means a lot to us. As you are a first-time customer, we would like to offer to host your website for 50% off our normal rate. Once again, we appreciate the opportunity to work with you. Feel free to reach out and let me know if you have any questions. Thank you and have a great day. Perfect. Great job. Thank um, you. Yeah, you definitely had a, a beginning, a middle, and an end. That was great. And you came, you were very creative coming up with something. Uh, let's see, breakout room number two, Vaughn's group. Tell us what company you are, what you do, and share a goodwill message, please. All right. Um, so we are Pearphone, and we make Pearphones, <laughs> like Apple, but it's, it's called Pear. Um, so goodwill message. Um, I didn't have a direct company this was message for, but it's like, just like a message that I would send to that company. Okay. So... When this company first began, I was unsure of where to start or who to even come in contact with. When I met you, you helped lead the way and put me on track to be one of the biggest public companies to exist today. As our parent company, I wanted to thank you for helping us since day one, and we know that we would be nowhere without you. If you ever need anything, you can reach us at parafones at parafone.com or call me directly at 123-123-1234. Warm regards, Vaughn, Parafone CEO and founder. Perfect. Yeah. You would totally write that in the business world. All right. Good job. Um, breakout room number three. We got Yellow Cactus Smoothie Bar. Heidi, why don't you share a procedural message you sent to employees? Awesome. Hello. So we're the Yellow Cactus Smoothie Bar. Um, we're pretty much a smoothie bar. And we have some other things that we sell. Um, so the message would be, Hi, Yellow Cactus employees. We have recently purchased new Vitamix blenders. In order to prevent any damage, we have decided to change the daily cleaning procedures. Every night, closers will be responsible for cleaning the bases of the blenders and let them dry on the uh, drying towel. And we'll need to soak the blenders in 120 degree water and leave them for overnight. Openers will be responsible for assembling the blenders. After each smoothie is made, you are required to take it to the back of the sink where the dishwasher will be responsible for sanitizing and drying. 
Please let us know if you have any questions or concerns. Best regard, the yellow cactus mannequin. Yeah, perfect. Beginning, middle, end, very detailed, very creative on how to clean it. I love it. Good job, guys. Thank you. Okay, next group, breakout group number four, Wyatt. And share with us, what do we got next? Thank you message. Uh, we actually didn't really get to that one. We uh, did a really good appreciation message. Okay, share it. <laughs> um okay so tell us your company we, first and what you do oh so, okay so our company is called flex zone fitness and you can probably guess that it is a local gym a little bit of a corny name but it <laughs> has a little ring to it um okay so this is our appreciation message dear flexors as a valued member of our organization, we would like to extend our appreciation for your continuous support through these uncertain times. COVID-19 has affected all of us, but as a cohesive family, we have been able to adjust and adopt to our circumstances in order to achieve and fit a healthy lifestyle. Thank you for doing your part in keeping our facilities clean and safe and for following regulations in the state of California. In good health, Flexone Fitness, Oceanside, California. Perfect very creative and that's definitely some sort of what i've been seeing lately from my gyms are you a yeah. gym owner or you want to be uh no not really <laughs> okay. i do enjoy the gym though <laughs> awesome great job guys um okay so who's next breakout room five will share a thank you message please i think i'm the presenter uh, our thank you message. We're uh, a construction contracting company, Baltimore County Construction, and we did our thank you message to the city of Oceanside. Dear city of Oceanside, us at North County Construction Contracting would personally like to thank the city's building department for choosing us to work on the development of the new shopping center on El Camino Real and Oceanside Boulevard. We know it requires a lot of trust and responsibility to choose our company and we are happy to deliver. Our company works very hard and is devoted to making our clients satisfied with our work. We look forward to hopefully continuing projects with you in the near future. Perfect. And then we like our number and stuff like that. Yeah, that's perfect. Awesome. Creative, beginning, middle, end. Good job. Okay. Um, Nicole, I won't pick on you since you came in late, okay? You're off the hook. <laughs> <laughs> But it looks like you have a pet grooming business. That's cute. All right, so that's really good messages, guys. It's not too hard. Again, the bad message is more of the, the hard part. Um, moving on here for your assignments coming up. So your, your quiz for the bad news messages is due tomorrow. The majority of you guys have already done that. Uh, analytical report, step one, is also due tomorrow. Um, some of you guys have emailed me questions. If you're confused about that, just feel free to email me, guys. I'd be happy to help. Uh, it's a lot easier than you think this first step. Check-in number six is due on the 23rd, and that's on celebrities. Quiz six, which is on good news message, which is what we went over here, is due October 23rd next week. And your first writing assignment, which is on bad news message, is on October 23rd. And I kind of explained that a little bit last week. Make sure that you read all the info in the week seven resource page. It's gonna have all the information, tips, and tricks. It's almost like you're gonna to have to write something, but you're gonna be timed. So that's why it's in a quiz format. So be sure to read that ahead of time in case you have questions, get to me before you actually start the timer on the test. Because once you start it, you have to finish it. You can't like log out and log back in, if that makes sense. Um, what other news do we have here? Let's open this up. Okay, so it's week eight, and I have also published week nine for you guys in case you wanna work ahead on anything. The reason being is that I'm gonna be out of town Friday through Monday, so I'm not sure when I'd be able to publish on Monday for you guys, and I'd rather give you more time than less time, so I published it early for next week, okay? Uh, also keep in mind, if you do need to email me any last questions, please try to email me today, as I'll be out of town with not that much reception this weekend. I'll be in the Grand Canyon and like phones don't even work there. 
um, and it's very limited Wi-Fi. So I will be staying in a hotel, so I will have Wi-Fi. I just don't know how good it's going to be. So, um, And then again, if you guys want to start working ahead on your analytical report, step two and step three, all that information is in there. Okay. Um, do you guys have any questions on anything? Any questions on good news messages? You can unmute yourself. No questions? Vaughn, you wanted to say something, right? About group last week? Was it Vaughn? I think I figured it out. You figured it out? Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, be sure to email me your Google Docs. If you didn't write it in the shared Google Doc, if you wrote it in a separate one, please email it to me with all your members' names on it. And uh, that's it. So we're done a little early today. So I'll hang out for a little bit if anyone has any questions. Other than that, have a great weekend. And... Um, yeah, get all your stuff done here. <laughs> Don't procrastinate. <laughs>